Yep, you see the title in the thumbnail. We're gonna step your rice game up with this bacon, cheddar, and chicken rosada. You're gonna love this one here. Y'all ready? Get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, let's do a quick roll call of what we have. So back here we have some already cooked chopped chicken breast. So I already had some cooked chicken breast here, so I'm just using it. If you don't have already cooked chicken breast, you can either buy a rotisserie chicken or you can just cook your own breast. Totally up to you. Right here we have some shredded cheddar cheese. We have our rosado here, some chicken stock. Right here we have some bacon some freshly chopped garlic, some pancetta, that's the way they say it in Italian, or I call it pancetta, it don't really matter. We got here some chives here, some dry white wine, some onions, and we got some olive oil here. So these are the ingredients, let's get to it. All right guys, to get started, we're gonna start preparing our bacon. And we're gonna cook this until it's brown and crispy, well, slightly crispy for me. And guys, as we get about halfway through of cooking our bacon, we're gonna add our pancetta. And I know you're saying, why are you using bacon and pancetta? A pancetta, whatever you wanna call it. Number one, because I want to. And that should be good enough for you. <laughs> but number two, they both add a different flavor. Now see, they both come from the belly of the pig. I know that doesn't sound good, does it? Bacon is typically cured and smoked with some salt, where pancetta is actually cured with just salt and pepper and some different spices. So it's gonna bring out a, a very bright flavor. All right guys, so it looks like we are there with our bacon and pancetta. So I'm gonna pause our heat. We're just gonna remove this, sit it aside. We're gonna add it to a bowl and we're gonna sit it aside and we're gonna come right back. All right, so we're gonna unpause our heat. We're gonna add our olive oil along with our bacon grease here. We're gonna bring that back up to temperature. Guys, this is key. While you're waiting on your pan to come up to boil before you go into this step, go ahead and put your chicken stock in a saucepan and have that come up over a medium heat. You want that warm when you add it to your risotto, okay? All right, so now that our oil is up to temperature, we're gonna add our onions and we're gonna cook this for about three to four minutes until they soften. Add a pinch of salt, a little black pepper, and continue to mix this up. All right, so we're about four minutes in. Now we're gonna add our garlic, along with some rosemary. I know that wasn't in the ingredient shot, but we're gonna add that rosemary. And we're gonna cook this for about another minute to that garlic fragrance. Man, that rosemary and that garlic smells is delicious. All right, now we're gonna add our rosada rice. And we're gonna cook this for about two minutes. And during your two minute cook of your rosada, you're gonna notice like a, a small white dot in the middle of your rosada. I don't even know if you can see it here on the camera. Yes, you can, you kinda see it right here on the camera. Look at that little white dot right there. Once you see that, you know you're good to go. And we're gonna add our white wine. And we're gonna cook this for about a minute until the alcohol burns off. We're about 45 seconds in. Now this is where making risotto, or risotto, whatever you wanna call it, this is where it's no longer a science, it's an art, all right? So we're gonna start going in with our chicken broth. And you wanna go in one ladle at a time. And you're gonna keep stirring this until the rice absorbs all of the chicken broth. And then you're gonna repeat that same process until all your chicken broth or stock, whatever you're using is, is gone, all right?
So now we're working on our last lateral of broth and I've already tasted my rice and it's good to go. And as you can see, how creamy our rosada is and that's what we wanted. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our cheese and our bacon and pancetta. And we're gonna get that mixed in so that cheese melts. Man, this is looking delicious. And once that cheese is melted, we're gonna add in our chicken. And we're gonna get that folded in like this. Man, take a look at that. All right, let's head over to our cutting board for our final presentation. And there you have it guys, bacon, cheddar, and chicken risotto, or risotto, however you wanna call it, doesn't matter, looks good. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and jump into quality control because I'm ready to test it out. Y'all ready? Let's get to it. All right, we're back in here, quality control. I got my bacon, cheddar, chicken, risotto risotto however you want to call it i'm not gonna eat off this plate right here because i got some people here all right so i got a little bit here on this salsa right here guys listen this baby here take a look at that oh man oh don't fall off baby oh man mm. creamy cheesy bacony mm, mm, mm. Flavor all hitting on point. Anytime you have bacon and cheese, anything, it's always a winner. Mm. Now, check out this rosada, rosado, whatever you want to call it, man. I know y'all gonna climb me in the comments about how I pronounce things. I'm from Alabama. I told y'all education system. So y'all already know who I am. All wings, everything. And remember, I'm not a chef, but I can make some damn rosado. I just cook a lot, and I'm out. Peace.